Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Lords of Magic. And where we last left off, we had just taken this brewery, which is giving us plus two ale per turn. That is wonderful. Because the forces of chaos are a very ale heavy race. All of their troops cost lots of ale compared to others. So if we hop in here and look at the Berserkers, 48 ale for their basic infantry. Yeah, 51. And 45 for the Lord. Or the champion, I should say. In here we have. Uh... Oh, well, these cost gold. Oh, uh, yeah, they're. Uh... Yeah, the Thieves Guild. Generally speaking, you're going to find the barracks units cost more L, the Thieves Guild units cost more gold, and the Mage Tower units cost more crystal. So yeah, we should get lots of L for that, and that should allow us to profit. Next, I think we're going to heal up and either hop over here to this what is it called I don't remember off the top of my head the crystal mine or possibly even up here to this no the statue will be probably level 5 the farther away the dungeon is from the capital the harder that it is with some specific s exceptions for example let's say this keep down here Keeps are always high level encounters, and they can spawn eh, relatively close to your capital, and you don't really want to get into a situation where you're fighting it over a uh, encounter above your level. We did that earlier when you tried to take the brewery the first time. It didn't end well. Well then, I think a couple more turns and then we'll be all healed up. Ought to be good. And then we'll take this crystal mine and we'll be able to get two crystal per turn just from that. Although, it won't be long until we need to worry about marauding parties. And what the marauding parties are is, uh. uh yeah, it's level 2. Excellent. They're like bandits, basically. They appear and they do some nasty things and they can capture buildings, including your capital. You do not want your capital to be taken. <laughs> you don't want your... Well, my capital can't actually be taken yet because I'm special, but your capital... T losing your capital doesn't lose you the game, but it does kill your income, which is a little important. You're just going to stand there? Oh, well, okay. I guess we'll attack you then. Oh, yeah, you didn't like that. Oh, no, 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 pause. That's something I don't like doing that often, pausing, but when the uh, camera goes wild, you, you kind of have to. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, well, that is certainly an unfortunate circumstance. Losing that. Those raiders because I wasn't paying attention. Uh. I won't begrudge that, I suppose. We'll see. And our Slinger gained another level? Good. Now, I may regret not begrudging that, because we need everyone that we can get to uh, take the Chaos Great Temple. So... Hmm. We'll see. For chaos. When I get enough gold, well... I don't even know if I can get enough gold. Yeah, I'm one short. So I have to uh, even take a, another place to even think of having enough money to recruit some 
berserkers. I not berserkers, raiders. I guess I could recruit. Oh no! Wait, I lied. Mercenaries are cheaper, as far as initial cost goes. I forgot about that. So we could indeed hire a bunch of mercenaries and then disband them afterwards. That might be something that's certainly worth considering. Because the next target is going to be the Great Temple, I think. I'd like my Berserkers to be a higher level, but I don't think it's going to happen. And at this point, I don't think I can risk attacking anywhere else. You know, let's send you out and poke around just to see what level of the statue is. Level 4? Yeah, we're not attacking that right now. Oh, that was a little dangerous. My lord could have been ambushed by who knows what and killed there. That would have been unfortunate. Then I would have probably restarted. Um, oh, well, there you go. There's some marauders right there. I haven't exactly decided on when I'll stop using my safety net of last save, which pops up before uh, your game auto saves before every battle, and then you can last save if you you can load the last save, and it'll take you back to the end of the previous ba the start of the previous battle. But it may be when I take my great temple. In fact, that'll probably be what it is. Let's take these guys out. Marauding parties. Yep. And we can take these guys out rather easily. I hope. For chaos. For oh yeah. We totally can. So. So. There's one. Or two. Or three. The game has different land types. If you're on a land type that your people aren't good at traversing, they will move slowly. So, as you can see at the start of this fight, these guys aren't moving too well on this mountainous terrain. But my guys are fine. It's a little piece of information that's important to note. It isn't the greatest start. I, I really beating myself up over losing that cavalry unit. That would be helpful. And now we can rest again. It's easier to rest in buildings. It increases the heal speed of your units. Although I don't know if it increases it the turn of or the turn after. So I guess we'll find out. That'll be the turn after. So you move into a building and then you rest. And then the turn after... Oh, that's alright. I can live with that. I suppose... And I'm going to have to recruit at least one mercenary. In fact... Let's... Let's do that real quick. Let's go in here and, uh... 11-2. 42 hit points. 10-2. 48 hit points. Other than having a higher move speed, I really think the Berserkers are better. 10-8-4. 10 8 4. Um... Hmm... Yeah. I think they are. So let's grab one of those, and as you can see, tr traditional style, well, I wouldn't say traditional style, but uh, annual cost, cost me four gold to uh, have that guy out, and it cost me one ale. Fortunately, we have an abundance of ale at the moment, which is helpful. But we'll have to remember to disband that guy, I suppose. Yeah, we'll disband him after. There's a couple of things we have to clean up after we take the temple that I'll go into when we actually do it. Another thing of note is, as you saw, it took me two turns to move that berserker there. But 
if I were to move my army there, it would only take one. And un parties without champions in it move slower. So it's really good to have uh, more so's to uh, party, party hard. All right, here we go. Great temple. I should have read that. Well, it basically said, hey, this is the great temple. Uh, you, you need to uh, take this. And that's an assassin. And a lot of... Uh, I don't know if we can win this. I don't know if we can win this. Okay, so you guys my wing to the sky. go there. Show us where to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you guys Let us out front, followed by you two. Move, go ahead and rally. And uh, they're not attacking immediately, so that's good. So, <laughs> so. The uh, assassins, what they'll do is they stealth, and then they can move around the battlefield. I can see this one because I have detected him. Someone in my army is good enough at detecting them that he can't actually stealth. Uh, so something to keep in mind. Eventually we'll be running into better stealthy people and that will be largely unfortunate because we'll actually have a hard time finding it and it will be a nuisance and I don't care about our mercenary he was just there to soak some damage oh goodness oh goodness oh goodness yeah I think I'm going to have to reload the earlier save and uh, rescue that cavalry man. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I took an extra turn to rest, and I took out these centaurs. And as you can see, this is different than... These enemies are different than the ones that I fought initially. That's because it changes up the enemies, the units each time. You'll, if you reload the game and play it uh, the same dungeon twice, there'll be different enemies in it. And uh, so when we over, go over here and attack the temple, there will be different enemies than the first time. And that's the same way with everything except like uh, special places. Well, apparently special places that aren't the Great Temple. I had a bit of an easier time that time, basically. I didn't have those archers to deal with. Curse you, archers. But, uh, yeah. Once we heal up, we should be okay with taking the temple. And we'll be able to get our shit in straight. Yes. It's very important. Oh. There, we had a little light blue flag pop up for a moment. And I did notice that our, uh... Well... I don't know what I was going to say there. No, oh, I, 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 I completely blanked. What is wrong with me? Why can't I remember that? Uh oh. Didn't we clear that? Mm, I think there's some marauders running around. I can't get there in one turn. The game has parties, uh, they're independent parties, they're marauding parties, and they, they basically attack anyone. And, uh, they'll come over here and harass your buildings, and there they are. A panther and a centaur. They're also pretty good experience. We will ruin you and all you have built. Now run, or we will dispatch you right now. Well, you can try. Rally for chaos. That's unfortunate. 
I was hoping they'd spawn up here on this mountainous area. Lords of Magic has a uh, terrain advantage in the sense that if you're from a race or a faction that's sort of the quote unquote opposite of the terrain that you're walking on, as you can see here, he greatly slowed down. I think you can see it, I don't know. And uh, it, it's quite the advantage to have, especially when you have archers. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, so our Faye Slinger gained a level. Well done. Fair enough. Unfortunately, our guys are injured again, so that is unfortunate. Fortunate. And uh, yeah, this game has a lot of sitting around and waiting. I found that's the best strategy. Um, it, it's not like the uh, game has technology or some other way the computer can get ahead. All it can really do is build a few extra units, and you'd only risk. Uh, them coming in and attacking you before you're ready. Which could be a problem, but we shall see. It usually takes quite the while for the enemy to actually attack you. Like, I've gone 200 turns without a real major quote-unquote attack. We should take that marauding party out. Yeah. We're gonna. Your petty faith means nothing to us. You better run while you still have the chance. I don't have to do that. I don't have to take out these marauding parties. But if I don't, they're going to occupy my resource-producing buildings. I don't really want that. Okay. Looks like the zombies have a terrain disadvantage, but the orcs do not. And zombies already move pretty slow. So, let us take our men here. Get closer in such a way that the zombies have to move quite the length to uh, attack us, and then we'll use our slingers to attack the zombies. Hopefully, that will kill the zombies before they get to us. That would be fortunate. That would be very fortunate. Come on. Uh, well, we got one. That is good thing. That is a good thing. Very much so. That's one less zombie that is dealing damage to us in the middle of combat, and we're doing good! Our life, our hit points are not too bad off. I think we might go after the temple. Actually, I think what we're going to do is recruit a mercenary, again. Because we were fairly close to beating off the uh, enemy last time, but we might just need that little extra oomph and could be useful. Could be very useful. So, let's hop in here. And, uh, 13, 4, 12, 4. I think we're just gonna grab a raider. A raider. A raider. And send him up. And we'll send him off ahead and hopefully distract the enemy insert stuff here since I don't actually know what's going to be attacking us this time there might be an assassin there, there might be a, some sort of warrior class, I don't know I don't know let's find out, and this time I'll actually read the Chaos Great Temple thing here stands the Great Temple of Chaos where since time immemorial barbarian clans have come to pay homage to their cap precious deities. Now its vigor has been drained, bringing shame and dishonor upon your proud people. Should you wrest the ancient shrine from its savage infiltrators, you will earn a place in the midst of your people, 
esteemed forever as their noble chieftain. Okay. I wouldn't mind being a noble chieftain. It's better than being a unnoble chieftain. Okay. What do we have? We have a lot of undead. We have an orc. We have two units of orcs. Orcs... Orcs don't particularly worry me. They're not that great of unit. The skeletons aren't too bad. The zombies... The zombies hit fairly hard and they have quite a bit of hit points. Here, Yag Mothi is a dark warrior. He is going to be our biggest threat. And thinking about it, actually... Hold on a moment. I might be able to cheese this up a little bit. To the sky! You guys head there. We are ready for blood. You guys I head there. We rule the sky. Are they moving? No. Okay. That's good. Oh, where are you going? You stupid idiot. And this is why flight is so very important. Because they can't get me here. They can't reach me. But I can reach them, and they don't care. They give no dams. They give no dams. They give no dams. They give no dams. That is unfortunate. I was really hoping that uh, we could just handle that that way. Okay, take out their warrior first. Excellent. And now take out the rest. Oh, rally. That was... I am disappointed. I was really hoping that I'd be able to cheese that up. I need to keep an eye on this guy. I don't want to lose him. There we go. And we lost our mercenary. That's too bad. I'm not too sad about that. I mean, mercenaries are expensive, and they're supposed to be at the front of an army. That's the way you use mercenaries, everybody. Two long imprisoned captives have joined your cause. Excellent. And we lost the mercenary, but we have gained an artifact, the Ring of Stealth. And we have also gained 103 fame, 10 followers, and 100 crystals. This is a good haul. Magnificent! You have liberated the Great Temple. In your honor, your people have constructed a stronghold at their capital, Anarchia. While this Great Temple remains free, it will attract followers to your stronghold to serve you. You can then assign them to work, produce valuable resources, you can also install champions in the Mages Guild, Barracks, and Thieves Guilds, where they will impart their experience to new recruits. Mages can now resource new spells in the library, and if you upgrade the Mages Tower to level 3, you can summon the Cyclops at the Great Temple. Indeed. So here we are. Here we have the long imprisoned captives. And conveniently, they will always be the other two champion types. So, we had a warrior, so we have a thief, and so, I'm saying so because I say so a lot, and so we have a mage. Excellent. And let's take a look at that artifact. Any thief in Yurak who wears this ring gains plus one armor and improves stealth. So we'll just pop over and give it to Lupi the Huntress. There you go. Very good. Now, we have a couple things to do. Here, you've noticed our capital has changed. Our capital has a stronghold now. And we can go in here, and you can read that when you can. And we have ten followers to assign. And you assign them to various buildings and places, and they make you money. It's always a good thing to make money. Well, let's see. What, how should I do this? Well, I need ale, like I mentioned. Uh, level, the level one, I think it's level one, is it level one? 
Yes. The level 1 capital, can only you can only put 8 followers in each. As that level increases, you can put many more. As you can see, upgrading costs a lot of, Well, the first upgrade isn't that bad. No, the first upgrade isn't that bad at all. But yeah, we need L and we need gold. And then we can put some into crystals. Next up, glory. the capital. That is where we will heal up because we have some work to do. We need to train up a powerful fighting force. And I know exactly how we're going to do that and I'm going to share it with you. This is something I like about Lords of Mad- oh, there's some nasty rebels. This is something I like about Lords of Magic, is the ability to actually train your troops. So if we put our Lord here, even though he's level 3, it should still do stuff. Here we are. Experience conferred to recruits. Next turn, plus 13, and max with this champion is 138. And if we go in here, you can see it will gain increase the level bar. And you can gain levels with that, it's very useful. And we'll stick the mage in there. For the same reason. Now, unfortunately, because we're not particularly high level yet, this is only going to have a marginal benefit of us being able to recruit slightly better people. But every little bit counts. And we should probably stick a couple people in there. I see that. The mystery of stealth is a closely guarded secret. We are willing to teach. Yes, yes, yes. Only a select few I only did that because I see there is a rebel army there. I don't want them to attack. Hopefully that'll ward them off. If not, well, hmm. We shall see. They should leave it alone if there's troops in it. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering this. And yeah, Marauding Party has taken a brewery under your control. That's unfortunate. I stand ready. I suppose we should do something about that. While we have a little bit of spare time. I want blood. It'll be good a little bit of experience, so. It will still take a turn. Um, we should recruit a shaman, a mage, so we're going to pull a follower out of there to recruit one, and then we're going to stick him here, the spell library, and this is where you research all the spells in the game. There's quite a few of them, everybody, so what do we want to start on? Uh, blind Rage... And you don't know what any of these spells do. The... the bleh, what am I trying to say? The effects that the spell confer are down here. These runes here, and as you research it, those slowly turn into English. Um, hmm. Blink. Minor Fate, Teleport Artifact, hmm. well let's just start at the beginning, let's start with our aggressive spells, and whole research that, it'll take 26 man days, and it'll take 26 man days, one fortnight and 12 days, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> This used to always one man day of researching each day. This always used to confuse me because when I was younger, I didn't know what a fortnight was, and I do now. Interestingly enough, uh, we're gonna take out those rebels and get lots of experience, and then go train dudes. Because training dudes is important. Because the more you train them, the less you have to throw them around in reckless combat where they could potentially die. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go take them out. And, yeah. You, you don't want your... People... You don't want to lose buildings to 
marauding parties, with the exception of resource producing buildings. All of them will cause them to be destroyed and you will have to rebuild them, at best. There are some buildings you can't rebuild. Specifically, uh, the villages. If the villages get conquered by rebels after somebody have ca has captured them, they'll, they'll just be destroyed and you can't do anything at them anymore. Quite the unfortunate circumstance. So here we have a spell. And uh, this is our first spell, Crash. And it targets a unit, costs two mana, the Shaman has five. And it t the target takes a random amount of damage. Some of it's permanent. It could also it could also give random increases in combat stats and the spell power and damage. Yeah. <laughs> random amount of damage, but then you feel better. That's not much of an attack spell. It may even be a defense spell. It may, it may be something you cast on your own guys. I'm gonna cast it on the enemy because I don't like damage. And they resisted. That's unfortunate. Well, take them out. It shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. And our Lord of Chaos gained a level. And I'm gonna pop this guy over here. And I'm going to rearrange these guys in a more appropriate fashion. And that matters. The uh, group. This is a group. This is this is a group. This is a group, and this is a group. Each group is led by a champion. Depend is dependent on where they appear on the battlefield. So it's important to keep your guys defended, especially the lord. <laughs> It'd be a bad day to have your lord die to a bunch of rabbling rebels. And, uh, yeah. Researching spells takes a while, but it is definitely worth it. And it looked like those rebels... rebels? Rebels? It looked like those, uh, marauding party guys down here le Well, no, they're right there. Never mind! I lied! And, uh, I think that'll be it this- Oh my gosh, is there more there? No, that's actually just a normal hideout. Uh, so then, next time on Let's Play Lords of Magic, we fight off more and more and more marauding parties 